what you need, yeah. Man, I got it, wow. What you say, hey, yeah. Why you slacking? Why you sucking all the top, boy, you capping? What you need, hey, yeah, I got it, wow. What you say, yeah. We about it, wow. Get the key, yeah. Why you slacking? Why you sucking all the top, boy, you capping? Yeah. Why you capping? Why you capping, no? Feel like a rubber band, I've been snapping, no. Yeah. I've been up here with my team, so you know this what I mean. We've been going up like What now. is going on, everybody? Pete Simonetti here for NYYU. Smacky that likey, hitty that subby, folks. We are 165 subbies away from the big old 35,000. But we got some bad news. So you guys remember the MRI with Nesta Cortez taking place? Well, the news has come out, and it's not good. This is from Max Goodman. Nesta Cortez has a left elbow flexor strain. He's headed to the IL. The Yankees announced Cody Poti takes his spot on the active roster. Marcus Stroman makes his start tonight. Now, you know, it's it's absolutely wild because I think if you asked a lot of people when the season began, you know, what would you expect from Nesta Cortez? A lot of people would have 100% bought in to his season. Guy sitting at a 3.77 ERA was likely going to make his last outing of the year tonight. Now he's probably not going to make any outings whatsoever. But a 3.77 ERA from Nesta Cortez, 174 innings. There's no doubt in my mind everybody would have signed up for this. But it's a major blow to the New York Yankees. Now, I do believe, and I've always felt this way over the last couple of days, that the Yankees would head into the ALDS with Cole, Rodon, Louis Hill. That's the way I would go about it. I don't know if that's their plan, but that is the way I would have went about it. The problem here is, do you, you know, Nestor Cortez is versatile. You can have him come out of the bullpen. You can have him start game four. But again, he can be one of those guys that you'd rely on maybe against some tough lefties coming up instead of a Tim Meza. Hill has been great. Don't get me wrong. But Nesta Cortez, the one thing you know about Nesta Cortez, the guy got ice in his veins. There's never going to be a big enough moment for Nesta Cortez to get him rattled. He's going to go out there and do his thing. So don't get me wrong. This is a big, big loss for the Yankees when they are just one game away from clinching the American League East and headed back to the postseason, which they already got that locked. But clinching the AL East and going in hopefully full strength into the postseason. That is not going to happen now with Nestor being out. Marcus Stroman is going to go ahead and get the start tonight. And look, this is a moment here for Marcus Stroman to really step up. The one thing you can also say about Marcus Stroman that you can say about Nestor Cortez, there's going to be no moment big enough. Marcus Stroman is the type that if, if something like this presents itself, hopefully he steps up and rises to the occasion. I'm pretty sure Marcus can do that. I know there's some concern about him. Has he kind of tired out as the season has progressed? Is the command always there? The only big positive right there that I know for a fact exists with Marcus is up here. He's not going to get mentally distracted. The moment's never going to be too big. But no doubt about it, folks, this is a blow to this club. Um, Nesta Cortez has been one of the Yankees' best pitchers. You go back and you look at the splits. I mean, over his last 40 innings, again, a one 5-8 5-8 ERA. One of those is also coming out of the bullpen, which makes him so damn special to and really makes him a weapon that the Yankees are now no longer going to have. So guys, let me know in the comment section below, how do you feel about this? Uh, Nestor being out, flexor strain, never a good thing. Does Marcus Stroman replace him well? Are you guys concerned with what this does for the team? It's amazing. How many people thought of Nestor before the year to probably how many people are seeing this injury right now with Nestor being out. It's definitely a big hit to the Yankees. But let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe to NYYU. And I will catch you game tonight. Catch you guys later tonight, I should say, for Game Season Live. Peace out, baby. Can't make a promise, but I do my best. 25 sitting on 25 racks. Just got started, no, we ain't done yet. But a new crib, that's a goddamn flex. That's a goddamn flex. Sign that check. Told them last year that I've been up next. Can't take calls, but I send that text. From way downtown, but it's just still wet.